when meeting women, confidence is key. But without confidence, you get awkwardness, which can be a barrier that blocks your ability to make a good impression. Whether it's stumbling over your words, avoiding eye contact, or not knowing how to engage in a conversation, awkwardness can impact your chances of getting the type of women that you want. Being awkward stems from self-consciousness and anxiety. Being too focused on how you're being perceived can make you second-guess your every move. This can manifest in physical signs like fidgeting, nervous laughter, or even a complete loss for words. When you're consumed by awkwardness, you have to relax and be yourself. Look, man, women are drawn to confidence and charisma. They want to feel comfortable and at ease when they're around you. However, if you're awkward, it can create an uncomfortable situation. This discomfort might lead women to perceive you as insecure, goofy, or socially inexperienced, all of which can diminish your chances of getting those draws. Being awkward can make it difficult to engage in conversation. Small talk can become a daunting task, and you might find yourself struggling to keep the conversation flowing. This can lead to long silenceness or superficial exchanges. Women appreciate men who can hold a conversation, listen, and make them feel understood. If you're too focused on your awkwardness, you might just miss out on a great opportunity. But there is good news. Being awkward is not a permanent condition. With the right strategies and a bit of practice, you can overcome your awkwardness and boost your confidence when meeting women. Here's how to get over being awkward. First, you got to get around more people, especially women. The more you put yourself in social situations, the more comfortable you'll become. Start by engaging in small conversations with people in your daily life, like the clerk at your local grocery store or a co-worker you don't know well. Gradually increase the length and depth of these interactions. The more you practice, the less intimidating conversations with strangers will become. Next, listen more than you talk. Instead of worrying about what you're going to say next, focus on listening to the other person. Pay attention to their words, tone, and body language. This not only helps you stay present in the conversation, but also reduces the pressure to come up with the perfect response. By showing interest in what the other person is saying, you'll create a more natural and engaging dialogue. Third, you have to work on your body language. Nonverbal cues play a role in how you're perceived. Practice maintaining good posure, making eye contact, and smiling. Open, confident body language can help you destroy any feelings of awkwardness and make you appear more approachable. Even if you feel nervous, adopting confident body language can trick your brain into feeling more relaxed. Four, prepare conversation starters. Having a good few go-to conversation starters can help you avoid awkward silence. Think of open-ended questions or topics that interest you and are likely to resonate with others. For example, you could answer about their hobbies, recent travels, or opinions on current events. Having these in your back pocket can help ease the pressure and steer the conversation more smoothly. I have 10 pickup lines that are guaranteed to work with any woman. The link is below in the description area. They are yours free. Read them, then use them. And finally... Embrace your imperfections. Nobody is perfect, and it's okay to make a mistake. If you say something awkward or the conversation doesn't go as planned, don't dwell on it. Instead, laugh it off and move forward. Women appreciate authenticity, and showing that you're comfortable with your imperfections can make you more relatable and endearing. So here's the conclusion, man. By applying these strategies, you can overcome being awkward and improve your chances to meet women. Building confidence and learning game comes with time and practice. So be patient with yourself as you work through it. Remember, the goal is to be the best version of you that you can be. And I will be there every step of the way to help you. So don't be afraid to join me and like-minded guys like yourself at Players University. The link to the class is below, or you can just go to www.adosagame.com and check us out. I'll holler at you guys in the next video, but until then, play on, player.